Hi there, welcome to my video on how to view your Thinkific course video engagement. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how you can view the different um, engagements of the videos uh, in your Thinkific courses um, and sort of how to use this to improve uh, your course uh, learning experience. So uh, let's get started. I'm jumping right into my Thinkific portal already. And so what I'm going to do is uh, once I'm logged, once you're logged into your um, Thinkific account, um, you'll want to click on manage learning content. And then once you click there, you'll see that there's all these different uh, options under this menu. And we're going to look specifically in our video library. So this, the video library will be um, a collection and this is where all the videos in your courses are held. And the beauty of this is that you can see each individual uh, video's uh, progress. So like if you want to track, you know, how long form videos are doing versus short form uh, videos, this is a great way to uh, view and understand and uh, use this to better design your future courses. Uh, so in Thinkific, there's two ways of uh, looking at the video engagement and video stats. Um, and I'll show you sort of the stats that Thinkific gives you and another way that you can uh, view it. So as you see, first, there is this video library. This is all the videos that are in my partner account. Um, if I'm curious um, how individual videos are doing like specific lessons, I can type the specific video in here and say, Congratulations, that's one video there. Um, if I don't have a specific video in mind and I just wanna search through my library, I can pick a specific video like this first one or the second one, and then look for this three dots. Uh, this is what we call in the um, realm of a hamburger menu. It's kind of like the standard kind of like uh, design in uh, most websites. But click on this three dots here and then you're going to look for and click on this edit button. And then in this edit button, you'll see video preview, video thumbnail, captions, appearance, and analytics. So uh, before we go into the analytics, I want to mention something about this, um, that each video in your course can have a thumbnail. Um, the thumbnail kind of stands out in the sense of it shows your students specifically what this video is about. So as you can see, I kind of uploaded a demo um, sample uh, thumbnail from a kind of a similar different video. Um, but if I wanted to change this thumbnail, um, I can click on upload and pick a thumbnail from my computer, uh, OneDrive, Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, uh, or from the web. Uh, this is something I would highly, highly recommend uh, to everyone is to add a thumbnail because it really gives that kind of preview of your video. Captions um, also help uh, your learners as well for those who um, have some challenges with um, audio and hearing. Um, captions are great also because they, they can read the transcripts on the screen. But uh, back to my point about analytics. So here, uh, this is... Um, there's no uh, real exciting analytics since it's just my partner account and these are kind of demos. But what you want to look for in your video analytics is the engagement, plays, uh, play rate, and last watch. Uh, the idea is that in this video, you can kind of track how people are uh, doing with this specific lesson. They'll tell you, like, say, okay, two people who have opened this video um, and have access to this video, but none of them have played it. And then um, that's the percentage that they'll give you what the percentage play rate is. They'll also give you the total plays uh, when the, when the last time uh, someone watched it and then the average engagement. These are really sort of a key sort of indications to uh, recording your videos, to understanding whether, you know, people are dropping off or the videos aren't being um, effectively used by students in your course. And these are just really helpful so that you can uh, use this to better design the learning experience. And then the other thing uh, to know about uh, video um, engagement and video uh, statistics in your Think of It course is that you can also view specific reports. So by viewing reports, this is another easier way, um, instead of looking at individual videos, they can give you a more big picture of how many videos you have, 
what's the total watch time, how many times it's been um, played. Um, watch time is really interesting because you, let's say you have eight hours of content, but only one hour has been watched. So maybe it's, you know, you can sort of say, well, hmm, this is kind of interesting and how can I better um, improve this for my students? And the last and final thing about the video engagement is that you can download a report. So if you click on export, um, it says your export is being processed and then you'll get a CSV sheet of your uh, student engagement uh, with these specific videos in your course. So I hope that helps. The whole idea behind this is to sort of give you an overview of how to find those statistics find those data and how to use that to improve the learning experience in your course and how to better um, design your course and or record your videos so that students are uh, watching more and um, having higher retention with your material. I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave a question, leave a comment, uh, give this video a like if it's helpful um, and subscribe and talk to you soon.